So in this poem, we're told Jane, looking for Tarzan, is running at a top speed of 5 meters per second and grabs a vine hanging vertically from a tall tree in the jungle. How high can she swing upward? Does the, does the length of the vine affect your answer? So first thing you want to do is draw what's going on and kind of understand uh, what's, what's exactly going on. So uh, basically we have Jane here and she's going to be grabbing this vine and she's going to be going this speed. And then she's going to swing like this and she's going to uh, come up here and she's going to have some speed and some height. And so we're trying to basically find how high she's going to swing, right? So basically your height off the ground uh, in terms of how high she's going to swing. So she could swing here, here, we don't actually know, but we're trying to find out what that is. So how are we going to do that? So the way we're going to do it is by using the law of conservation of energy, which basically tells us energy can either be created nor destroyed. So the energy at the beginning has to be equal to the energy at the end. So E1 has to basically, uh, basically be equal to E2. So you can call this E1, you can call this uh, E2. And so the energy that makes up both of these are two types of energy in this case, potential and kinetic. So the formula for kinetic energy, we denote with K, is 1 half mv squared. The formula for potential, which is generally denoted by U, is mgh. So generally you add these up in the beginning and they have to be equal to them added up at the end. So 1 half mv squared, plus mgh, so you can say v1 and h1, since both of these values are constants, they don't actually change, so the only thing that changes are these, and then we have 1 half mv2 squared plus mgh2. So what we're trying to find is h2. That's going to be the height at which uh, the point they go to. But the way we're going to set that is by we know that the velocity at the point maximum is going to be 0 meters per second. So V2 is actually going to be zero because once they're at that point, the highest point, they're not moving anymore. They're going to be basically stuck for just one little instance of time. So V2 is basically zero meters per second at the maximum point. So uh, we would set V2 equal to zero. And if that's zero, this whole term is zero. Next, H1. Uh, H1 is basically the height at which they pick it up. And so we're just going to assume that they pick it up at the bottom. And you can basically choose any value for your height but you would have to add that value at the end because h is kind of like the change in the height in that way, h2 at least. But h1, we can just set to be zero, and then h2 would just be how high they go. So what we're going to do is say h2 e, or h1 is zero because of this value zero just makes it a lot easier to solve. So we can assume she picks it up at zero. So in the end, you would just have mv or one half mv1 squared is equal to mgh2. And so we know the initial velocity, and then we can just solve for the height at which uh, they're going to reach. So uh, we know v1 is 5, uh, but the first thing you should know is we have mass on both sides, so they can just cancel. So it just makes it easier to solve. And then we can multiply both sides by 2. So we'll have v1 squared equals 2gh2. And then if you square root both sides, you would get uh, the initial velocity by itself, which is... Uh, or sorry, we're not solving for V1, that's my mistake. We're solving for H2, sorry about that. And so if we want to solve for like that, uh, what we would do is uh, obviously cancel the masses still. Uh, we would just divide by the G. So H2 is equal to uh, 1 half V1 squared divided by G. Sorry about that, I just got a little confused. Uh, but we just got to plug in the values now. Um, so 1 half... You can just rewrite it like this. Uh, so 5 squared divided by 2 times g. g is the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8. Uh, and then now you just want to plug it in. So 25 uh, divided by 2 times 9.8. Uh, and you're going to get a value of 1.2755. Uh, and so keep in mind, we measure height in um, meters. So you can round this however you want. You can say 1.3 meters. Um, but yeah, so basically the maximum height they're going to reach is going to be 1.3 meters in the air. So this distance, 1.3 meters. Um, and yeah, so this is going to be your answer. And just as a, a quick recap, all we did was use the law of conservation of energy using kinetic and potential. And then we just basically set them equal and then solve through. So pretty simple problem. And uh, yeah, so this is your answer. And hopefully you found this useful.